Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a soundboard with Visual Basic. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Google, okay? And um, you're going to want to find the sounds that you want to use. For uh, for the example video, for like uh, for me showing you how to make this soundboard, I'm just going to be using cat sounds, and I've already downloaded them. Okay, so... Um, as you can see, these files are MP3, and we don't want MP3 files. We want WAV files. If you don't have WAV, uh, WAV files, then it's not going to work. Um, so what we're going to do is, or what, what you can do, is you can download the sound effects um, already as WAV. Okay, and if you can't find the sound effects that you want to use, in WAV file format, then what you can do is you can try to find them as MP3 or whatever you want to do. And you want to open Audacity. Okay, it's a free program you can find. And you want to throw the, the um, sounds into Audacity. And from there, you want to go to File and Export. And you can go through here and you need to find WAV. And you could rename it to whatever you want. We'll just put sound one. And we'll save it to desktop. As you can see, it came out as a WAV file there. Okay. We're going to do that with the other sound effect. Sound effects. Okay. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Sound two. Okay. Now we're gonna get to the actual programming. Okay. And I'm gonna have the source code in the description, so you can use that. Um. Another reason why I'm gonna do that instead of just explaining everything to you is because there's gonna be a lot of copying and pasting. That is, if you want to have like. A soundboard, for example, the one I did here. Yes, I have a lot of junk. I don't deal with it. So, um, where is it at? Man, it's here somewhere. Here it is. It's called MC Sounds. It's for a game I play called Minecraft. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it. And what this does is you you can click on it, and it will play. You know. The animal sounds we have pig, sheep, cow, spider, and I will be, yeah, I'll be teaching how to make one of these. Except I'm only going to be using two, um, two sounds, so I'm not going to make it very big. So, what you want to do is you want to open Visual Studio or whatever, and you want to go. Uh, here, I'll just close it and reopen it so you can get a better idea of what we're doing. <laughs> okay. So, then you want to go to New Project. Okay. Then you go to Visual Basic, Windows Form Application, rename it. I'll just name this Cat Sounds. As well as this one, cat sounds. Okay, it's gonna start doing stuff. Okay, so now the GI GUI will come up. Okay, I'm not really gonna be going into like customizing how it looks and all that crap. I'm just gonna be showing what you need to do to make it work, you know, function. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you want to go to Toolbox, and you want to find the button, and you need to add as many buttons as you do uh, sounds. So I'll just put two buttons. Okay, and I only added one, so I'll just copy and paste that one. Okay. I'll make these buttons real big. Okay. Okay. I don't really care right now if they're equal or not. It doesn't matter. 
Okay, we're going to call this one cat1. And for button 2, we're going to call it cat2. Okay. And you can go through here and, you know, customize everything, everything you want to do. I'm not going into that. So, okay. Now what we're going to want to do is we want to go, we want to import the sounds. Um, so we need to go to project. And we need to go to cat sound properties. Resources. And then you come up here and you select audio. And you want to take your sounds and then drag them in here. Okay, and now we're going to actually get to the, the coding part. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is double click on one of the buttons. Okay. And I have the source code. Once again, it'll be in the description. That's what it's going to look like. Okay. And then what you want to just paste it. And you're going to want to rename what you what sound you want to play when you click this button. So we'll call this one sound one. Uh, uh, what I do. Resources dot sound one. Okay. And so now, um, when we click the first button, it's going to play sound one, as you could hear. It's actually quite simple. Um, it took me a while to actually figure it out, but you get down to it, it's real simple. I'm sorry if this video is really bad. Um, I haven't been asleep yet. I've been up all night, and I'm exhausted. And uh, so I kind of promised one of my friends that I would make this video for you guys. So you're going to do the same thing for the next button, except for you want to change it to the other sound you want to play and so on. Okay. Now you're pretty much done. You can play that sound. And you can play this sound now. Okay. And now, now that you're done with whatever you wanted to do, you can just go into build. And I don't know really which one it is, but we'll do both. Oops. Okay, and that's weird. It usually tells me where it put it. Um, Okay, we'll do rebuild cat sound. Okay, here we go. Now it's telling me where it put it. Okay. Now you want to copy that location. Go here and just paste it. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay. How about we just go and copy that much okay all right now it gave us the location now um now you see this is what you need cat sounds.exe you can just drag that to your desktop and click on it play the different sounds I hope you enjoyed this video um I would appreciate feedback. Um, have a great day.